Father, how did you get the call to become a priest? You know, I think that really my call is a lot about um, kind of a journey, uh, because I first started thinking about it when I was 15 years old, but I didn't enter the seminary until I was 25. And so um, that kind of first kind of call from God uh, occurred actually in just realizing that there were not as many priests as there needed to be in our church. I was uh, at Sacred Heart in Fairfield, it was my home parish, and our associate was leaving and we didn't think he was going to be reassigned at that time. And it was really the first time that I thought about that, you know, there was a priest shortage and that I could maybe be, you know, part of the answer to that. Uh, but my initial reaction was not to be a priest, but just to pray that other people would become priests, yeah. uh, which is kind of funny. You know, it was kind of that, well, you know, let that be somebody else's <laughs> thing. So um, instead, um, I started praying, and then I kind of got that um, thought in my mind, which I think was from the Lord, which was like, okay, what about you? You know, what's your excuse? Yeah. Um, and so that was the beginning of my discernment. But what I did then is I tried to do what most guys do, which is they try to kind of push those thoughts away. And so I literally spent a couple years thinking about it and praying about it, but not really acting on it. Uh, and I was kind of thought, well, you know, maybe if I pray more, if I do more spiritual things, then I'll kind of get that out of my system and it won't be a, uh, an issue anymore. But the Lord kept on drawing me kind of closer and closer and kind of backfired uh, in a way. So um, I entered the seminary when I was 25 years old, uh, began my, my studies for the priesthood at that time. and. Uh, it's been a great journey. Uh, one of the important aspects of my uh, discernment was definitely beginning to go to daily mass, uh, which I did when I was a high school, or um, actually at the end of high school, uh, going into college, and then also Eucharistic adoration was a, was a huge thing for me. Uh, just to spend some time with the Lord uh, in prayer uh, before the Eucharist, that's really where I feel like I got that kind of final push yeah. to enter the seminary. So uh, it's been a great journey, and um, certainly I uh, you know, would invite other young men to, to think about it because it's a, it's a great life. It is. Is it what you thought it would be? <laughs> you know, it is in some ways and it is in, it's not in other ways. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, of course, when you're younger, you think, well, what does the priest do? The priest says mass on Sundays and they work on their homilies and they talk to people and kind of hang out and are kind of present at the parish. But you don't realize all the things that go into the priesthood. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of that is just the, the preparation that goes into to teaching and to preaching effectively. The other part is um, all the opportunities that we have to, to counsel people and to give spiritual direction to people is not something that I really thought about. Um, mm -hmm. Visits to the sick, mm -hmm. marriage preparation, all the kind of behind the scenes stuff yeah. that's really valuable to people but at the same time is not noticed by the average Sunday congregation. Right. So uh, it's a very busy life uh, mm -hmm. but it's also uh, very fulfilling. Um, the, you teach at the seminary in right. Cincinnati, and I was wondering um, how priests choose their order. Okay, yeah, that's a good question. You know, most people uh, who are Catholic know about Jesuits, Dominicans, Franciscans, uh, but for us, we like to joke that we're the order that Jesus Christ founded, um, <laughs> okay. because we're regular parish priests. Okay. Uh, we basically... Um, are obedient to our bishop uh, who makes assignments within his diocese for us. So um, unlike a Jesuit or a Franciscan who could be assigned anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world really, okay. we are basically uh, priests for a particular geographic area. So oh. I will never yeah. be assigned outside of the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. Wow, I didn't uh, know that. It's one of those things okay. that um, our, our promises are to our bishop and to his successors, whoever the next bishop might be. Uh, and so he assigns us to high schools and to uh, parishes primarily within uh, Cincinnati and Dayton area. So uh, that's why I spent a couple years uh, here in Dayton and yeah. then uh, made it down to Cincinnati when the bishop called uh, me to take on, on new responsibilities, new work. All right. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much.